Good morning guys and welcome back to Vaga Brothers. Today we're cool hunting in the Irish capital. It's 2015 which is the year of Irish design so to kick things off we're gonna go meet up with Michael from Le Cool Dublin to do a walking tour of the city's creative quarter. Let's hit it. Hey, no, no, no. Hey man, hey, Marco? good to see you. How are you getting on? Nice yeah. to meet you. Welcome to Dublin. So we're gonna mosey around uh, some of the creative quarter, bump into a few um, interesting characters, and look at the scene, look at the coffee scene, look at the creative scene, look at the design scene in the city, and um, get a flavor for what's going down in Dublin at the moment. Let's do Sounds it. Fun. Maybe some coffee to start it off. No, no, no. I'm Chris Keegan, I'm the owner of CAF, specialty coffee shop, and uh, we are on Drury Street in the Creative Quarter of Dublin. A lot of independent ateliers, artisan shops, recording studios, music stores, all within three streets of this. Ten years ago, this really was a backwater of a street, very little going on. It's come up in the last five years as the area to sort of visit in Dublin. And tourists wander down here, but not in their droves. There's no tour buses, no nothing. They have to kind of find us, and that's the way we like it. So good. Flat white, gotta love it. America, get on the flat white, what's your problem? Mocha frappuccino lattes. This is true. With pumpkin spice. Hey, you, the pumpkin it's spice. It's fall right now. Take it easy, man. It's fall right now. Pumpkin we'll spice is happening. Pumpkin spice. Well, we are properly caffeinated and we're heading across the street to the aptly named Irish Design Shop. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Marco. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. How did you guys get the idea to start this place? Um, we're jewelers. We were trying to sell our own things. There's no sort of venue for us to sell in, so we decided to sell it ourselves. Here's your shaving soap made from cedarwood and seaweed. Ooh, we do. We've been we've been on the seaweed tip lately. Huh? I know, and I'm kind of like in in need of a shave. I'm going for that eight o'clock shadow. Comes in a nice little box. Uh, Who it is again? Hello, Jane. These are awesome. I love these. Yeah. If you are into bow ties, you might want to check these out. Hand woven silk bow ties. Class. <laughs> We're going to head down into Temple Bar and head down towards Garth and Indigo and Claw. So many cool brands in here, guys. I love it. And I've never heard of any of them. Very cool place. But we're gonna go meet with Garrett, who is the owner and founder of Indigo and Cloth, and learn a bit more about the, what they're doing. My name, Garrett Pitcher, um, and this is Indigo and Cloth. I run Deeflin, um, which is the old Nordic name for Dublin. And we are trying to capture that kind of Scandinavian influence of uh, the Vikings who originally kind of effectively founded Dublin um, and with Irish provenance. So we work with a lot of Irish manufacturers, uh, designers as well, uh, very collaborative. It's pretty cool, I like it. Thanks so much for everything. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. Take it easy. Stepping back on the streets of Dublin with some new style. So now we're going to go to Dublin Castle where there is an exhibition on the year of Irish design, ID 2015. So we've just arrived at Dublin Castle. We're here to see the ID 2015 exhibition called Fresh Talent and to meet a guy named Alex Milton who is kind of the dude behind this whole amazing project. Let's go say hello. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, great. Nice lovely to, to meet, meet you. you. Hi, yeah. Alex? Hi, yeah. lovely to meet you. I'm Alex Hi, yeah. as well. And he's another Trim Alex as well. also Alex. Oh. <laughs> Triple Alex. Best name ever. Okay, well this exhibition is called Fresh Talent and it shows some of the best emerging talent from across Ireland in a whole range of disciplines. And I think that's one of the interesting things about Irish design is it's not bound by disciplines. Ireland is really famous, I suppose, for telling stories. Um, and a lot of the products, the objects here, tell really compelling stories about Ireland, but also about how how Ireland connects to the world. So, let's have a look. Hello. 
Well, I will be completely honest. Fashion and design is not something that I know too much about, but I definitely appreciate artwork and artistic creation. And uh, it's really cool to see how many different mediums Irish designers are using. Things like dress designers, fashion, ceramics, jewelry, furniture. It's like this younger generation that's drawing on older traditions to find something that's uniquely Irish within our global world. So just seeing all these different styles emerging and fusing modern, traditional, uh, local, global styles, it's really cool. There's actually an app called Design Island. We're gonna go to a place called Fumbly, which is apparently like a creative hub, get some lunch, and then continue our exploration of Dublin. What do we have here? We've got a Mexican pozole and then just a daily seasonal salad place. We just finished up a nice little lunch, piled in the car, driving outside of Dublin to a place called Maker and Brothers. Maker and Brothers is uh, bringing together a lot of the Irish design scene in one place. I think they have 60% of their stuff comes from 40 Irish designers. Most of their stuff sold online, but um, we're going to the shed, which is a physical space available by Roman only. So we are at where it says it is. This is it. They must have some kind of Harry Potter invisibility charm. I guess this is what an online store looks like. Well, this ball just bounced down from this fence and we're gonna follow it to see where it leads. I think we found it. Oh, you just wanna play, don't you? Hello? Hello. Hey, Mario. Hey, nice welcome, you. nice to meet you. Come on in. Uh, my name is Jonathan Legg. Um, we're in the shed of Makers and Brothers. Um, Makers and Brothers is a project I started with my brother. I kind of felt there was a lot of interesting makers out there making really beautiful stuff around Ireland, but nobody was really representing them in the way we thought they could be represented, particularly online. The recession produced a, a different way of people thinking. People were looking for a different pace of life and looking for a bit more meaning and depth than what they surrounded themselves with. Which I think is really important for us and Makers and Brothers that we want to sell objects that can kind of bring that meaning and depth to the domestic environment. The origin of everything we stock is really important to us so we know where it's from. I think of all the things we've found today, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with all this Irish tweed sort of weaving and how like these bow ties here are from the Aran Islands where we're really visiting. The way that they're able to like take something super traditional and make it into something cool again. I think that's really impressive. These bow ties, are, they're calling my name. They really are. So right now we're with Brendan Joseph. He hand weaves super cool bow ties, scarves, and shawls. We're gonna get a little bit of insight into what he does. It's a styling, it's super comfy. Yeah, it kind of matches it. the shirt. So a lot of guys will literally take your bow tie out of its box and unclip it at the back and reclip it time in, time out. Yeah. So I wanted to give them a reward if they learn how to tie it or if they already know. So when you untie your tie and put it on your on your neck and retie it, you don't just have one tie, you have a choice of three. Can you show me how to tie a tie? Yeah, I will. So you're nearly there, keep going. Uh, uh, uh. And now it is actually a perfectly tied bow. Couldn't quite pour the Guinness yesterday, but the bow tie is on point. You got a new bow tie. Well, hey, I actually tried to tie one, and Mr. Brendan Joseph was kind enough to give me a little gift here. So if you see me wearing that bow tie in the future, you know where it came from. I've got the bow tie, I've got the rain breaker, and now I'm gonna go look for the final element, which is the tweed jacket. This time I'm going classic, not trendy. I'm going for the traditional Irish tweed. The place I'm going is closed, but the man has agreed to keep it open half an hour extra late for us. Hi, I'm the one I spoke on the phone with you. Yeah, How's it going, you. Marco? Okay, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Okay, cool. 
Nice. What you have is you've got your Irish tweeds. Right. Um, made in Donegal. Okay. Some of them will be hand woven, oh. some of them will be done on machines. Well, as we've learned this week at the Tweed Project and elsewhere, Donegal Tweed is the tweed of Ireland. Correct. Good stuff. Correct. Bro. That, so, how's that look? That's Looks really good. good. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Okay, look. Well, in the end, I went for it. We've been traveling, filming non stop for two and a half months. I have not got a souvenir, so. After seeing this beautiful country, I knew I wanted something that, a, a gift that would last a lifetime for myself. So, making an investment in some tweed. And hopefully, when I'm like an old man, my cane, I'm still rocking that Donegal tweed. Thanks so much. Yeah, no, Have a good day. And you. All right, guys, that was a great way to end a really incredible week here in Ireland. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing all of the creative talent in this country and specifically here in the city so i think not to mention your new tweet yeah got styled out got styled out and uh, some amazing souvenirs yeah. to bring back home definitely but guys we're curious to hear what your favorite moment was from the trip i mean i'm not gonna lie this was amazing for us we got right off the plane surfing mm. and then heading down the wild atlantic way checking out galway the Aran islands all, all the, the way down to cork oh my oh. god i'm still stuffed from that day in cork but uh yeah guys if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the series make sure you give it a thumbs up share the series with your friends all right and subscribe to Vaga Brothers if you haven't already. And don't forget, if you haven't seen the other episodes, there are links in the description box, in the info box, so go check those out as well. And in the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace!